Hi, it's Amy Chapel from Amarina Designs, and today I'm here to share with you how to make these cute little mini palm flowers. They are super fun filler flowers to add to any felt flower arrangement. They're super quick and easy to come together, and you can find these mini palms in so many colors that you're sure to find one to fit your project you're working on. So let's get started. There's two ways that you can do this. In a number of my patterns, I include the pattern pieces for this felt flower base, and I will include a link to one of those patterns here. Or you can simply cut them out of felt yourself. If you're going to do that, you are going to take a one inch square of felt, and then you're just going to cut these felt, um, these leaf shapes into each of the four corners. And to do that, I just come to my corner, and then I just make kind of a rounded V and I'll come back up to this point, and then that creates those little notches in the sides. Otherwise, you will take your pattern piece. I like to print it onto quilter's freezer paper. You could trace them onto regular freezer paper. However you like to transfer your patterns onto your felt, and you'll wanna make sure that you cut out as many bases as you need flowers, and then you'll also need leaves if you want to add a little bit of extra foliage to your stem, your flower stems. To do that, if you're cutting them by hand, I will cut a three quarter inch by half inch little rectangle, and then you'll cut it down into these teardrop shapes, or you can just, again, use the pattern pieces that you find there. Now that we have our shapes cut out, if you are using the freezer paper method, you'll want to make sure that you remove that freezer paper backing from your pattern pieces. Then you're just going to take your glue gun, and you're gonna put a little dot of glue on each of the four leaves of your flower base. The further out on your leaf that you add your glue dot is how open or closed your flower is going to be. I put these ones a little bit closer in because I want my leaves to kind of be open a little bit and to reveal a little bit more of the color of the pom-pom. Um, but if you want it to be more like a tight bud, you can put the glue closer up to the tips and then it's a little bit more closed and has a little rounder shape to the flower. Once you have your flower done, you're going to take some sharp piercing tool. I like to use this paper piercer, you could use an awl, you can use probably a thick tapestry needle, and you're gonna poke a hole in the bottom of your felt ball, and then you're going to put just a little dot of glue right over that hole you just poked, and then you're going to take your wire, and I like to use a wrapped wire for this. It just grabs the glue a little bit better. And I'm going to just kind of twist it into that hole that I poked using my sharp tool. Once you have your flower finished, we're going to add our leaves. So to begin, we're going to take our leaf, and we're going to add just a teeny drop of glue to the very bottom of our leaf. And then we're going to pinch it shut and I just hold it for a second to let the glue cool down. And then I have this fun little dimensional shape to my leaf. And then to attach it to my flower, I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the side of my leaf. And then I'm just going to add that to my wire stem. And a lot of times I will add a second leaf to this and I will just glue it on the other side to kind of sandwich that wire and hide it. Another option is to take your petal, your leaf, add your dot of glue to the base here, and then instead of pinching it shut, you will pinch it around the wire itself. And then that gives a little bit more of a cut leaf shape to your leaf. And either way, I think looks awesome, just depends on the look you're going for. And that's it. I make these as big or as short as I need them to to fill in my arrangement. You can also use floral tape and wire and tape some stems together to create a branched effect. They're a super fun, versatile flower that is fantastic for filling in any flower arrangements you're creating. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll look for you soon.